What's up, brother? In this video, I'm going to teach you the power of living in your purpose as a man by telling a short parable titled The Story of the Three Bricklayers. So real quick, let's jump into it. After the great fire of 1666 that leveled London, the world's most famous architect, Christopher Wren, was commissioned to rebuild St. Paul's Cathedral. And one day in 1671, Christopher observed three bricklayers on a scaffold. One crouched, one half standing, and one standing tall, working very hard and very fast. To the first bricklayer, Christopher asked the question, what are you doing? To which the bricklayer replied, I'm a bricklayer. I'm working hard laying bricks to feed my family. The second bricklayer responded, I'm a builder. I'm building a wall. But the third bricklayer, the most productive of the three, when asked the question, what are you doing, replied with a gleam in his eye. I am a cathedral builder. I'm building a great cathedral to the Almighty. Now, there's two very important things that I think you should spend time thinking about in reflection after I told you the story. The first is the power of purpose. We as men... All men have an internal calling, something that eats at us, it drives us, and that is our need to matter. We want to make a difference in the world around us. And what I can tell you from firsthand experience, if you're struggling with your mental health as a man, depression, anxiety, lack of motivation, lack of ambition, lack of drive, finding yourself like I was at one point in my life, asking myself, what's the point? I can tell you right now, that's because there's somewhere in your life you feel like you could be doing more to make a difference in the world around you. You matter more. You can influence more. You're capable of more. But for whatever reason, you stopped your pursuit to live in a place of purpose. The fact is, when you look at the three bricklayers, all three of them were doing the same job, working on the same structure. The only difference between those three was the mindset, was the attitude. And that's the second thing that you should really be taking away from the story. You may not be able to control some of the things that happen in your life, what people do, their behavior, decisions, etc. But one thing that you'll always be able to control is how you show up, your attitude. Do you have a winning attitude where you live in a place of purpose? Or do you have a loser's attitude where you lack the intrinsic desire to be anything more than what you are? You know, in a lot of my content, I talk about the importance of men living in their purpose. And the truth is, a lot of people struggle with understanding exactly what that means. So I'm going to help you. Your purpose, you get to choose. It's what you want to create, the impact upon the world that you want to have, what you want to build. And what I can tell you is if you truly want to create an everlasting sense of purpose in your life, what you need to do is find something that does four things. Number one, something that you love doing. You enjoy it. It brings you fulfillment. Number two, something that serves the world by giving back to them, educating or helping them in some way. Number three, something that you can be paid for. And number four, something that you're good at. If you can find something in your life that solves all four of those things, you've achieved what the Japanese call ikigai. And the translation of ikigai to English is a reason to live or your reason for being. Like I said earlier, you as a man need a reason to matter. And nothing feels better than feeling wanted, appreciated, and valued. Well, it's your responsibility to make sure that you create a life where you can get that. And the way that you do that is by developing the skills and creating the impact in the world around you so that people can make you feel that appreciation and make you feel valued. And the last thing I'll say about that is if you aren't doing things in your life that make you feel valuable, 
Like you're creating an impact. Like you're putting a dent in the world, fulfilling your purpose and have achieved icky guy. And you're down on yourself and you're unhappy with yourself and you don't feel fulfilled. Then how can you expect the world to appreciate you? It starts with learning to appreciate yourself, value yourself, respect yourself. Then once you've created a life that you're proud of, getting that from the people around you comes easy. It comes naturally. So if you don't know me, my name is Josh Holyfield. This is the Josh Holyfield podcast. I've made the commitment to record these videos for you every day. Today is a shorter video, but I think I hit the nail on the head as far as the message is concerned. So we're going to leave it at what it is. But one quick thing, if you don't mind doing me a favor, if you feel like this content is valuable for you and you know somebody that you may think that it could help, do me a favor, share it to them. And lastly, if you've been watching my daily videos and you have questions or you'd like my insight on a specific topic, do me a favor, go down to the comments section. Let me know what you'd like me to speak on and I'll make sure to go out of my way to have a conversation about that on a future video. Thanks again. See you tomorrow. Stay vigilant.